Hello. My good friend Harry up in Canada wants to know how I've been working on this bridge and what do I do to it. So, uh, anyways, this is the bridge. It's by Microengineering and it's a uh, tall steel viaduct. And we got the longer one, the 210 foot one. And what we're the problem with uh, we have such a long span and it's plastic is that as you run three or four engines over it, we want a little more strength, a little more rigidity. So, what I did was take some aluminum stock and this is the stuff that you put over the end of a three-quarter inch plywood so it looks like just a u-shaped there's a view of it there and again it's for three-quarter inch plywood and what i did was drew it out on this board which is the same radius 34 inches that we have on the uh, climb the most important parts are where the two uh, supports connect to the bridge. So those have to be the same size, that's why they're in the dark, darker black, and then in between is where the other spans will go across. And what I did was, uh, every curve is different, but for our curve, I ended up taking out a little triangle of the piece, and you can see where I spliced it there, and actually about five places. And then what I did is after I took the spliced the triangle out according to uh, the angles that I needed, I drilled holes in each of the different parts. And then what I had to do that for was so I could attach it to this piece of wood. And the reason I did that was so that I could I turn it over and show you. You can see that I had to put bolts and little plates on each one of the um, connections and I put lock washers in there as well and then what I did after I got that all rigid is I took it off the board and I used epoxy to glue the different spans and also some of the underside to the uh, um, to the piece of metal and now we have a span that you really aren't going to see. You're not going to see the metal in between and the track is going to go over the top. So, after a lot of work, we finished the, the, uh, the two stands and they're just barely in place right now because uh, we're just trying to figure out where it is and I'm trying to show you what's going on. So, we had to cut two grooves for the, for the U-shape and at the end of this, you can see there's another piece of metal in there, and between the two of them, they equal the exact height of the cork. And so if you give me a second... It slides in there. You can see the connection there, it's exactly the same height. And we're going to screw and then epoxy that to the end of the table here. And then to keep the supports level, we're going to just shimmy in the different uh, sizes we need to attach it to a bridge. And after we get the right heights on uh, both of these, we're going to take it all off and paint the whole thing once it's all glued, and then we can just put it right back in place. So that's where we are right now. That's what the bridge kind of looks like. We're thinking it looks pretty good so far. We'll take a look at it down the... Uh, the riverbed. Sorry about all the tools and stuff, but anyways, that's what it's going to look like. And we'll show you more when we get it done. Hope that helps, Harry. Talk to you later.